Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex swing trading, using the TC2000 platform. Hello, this is the speed run for the 21 Forex currencies on 21 July at 11 p.m. Central Time. Start off the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. And as you can see here, we have a buy entry. Um, we have two green candles north of the RL10. However, they're right at up against the Z3. We had an initial trade. The Daily Frog went up to the second trade and was, I'm currently in this trade on the four hour. So you look at here, I'm at the, the hump of the dragon. On the daily, we're at the edge of the river bed so this comes down back back down to stop us up that's fine we had a good trade and uh, could continue to go up and hit the z3 the new z3 for this area and that was swiss franc z3 no trade you guys can see here went ahead and hit the z3 and then came right back down to be right at the z3 again so um, if i was to trade this i would have put uh and i didn't but i would have put a daily frog because everything's green right here up to the z3 but this was the Z3 up there, so I did not take a daily frog on this particular trade. Z dollar Japanese yen, same thing. We hit daily frog, weekly high, additional hump of the dragon position. So it's three positions, and then we stopped out at the Z3 for our target. Great trade. Z dollar New Zealand dollar is not on my trade plan because of the Z3, right? Their risk reward, um, and we had conflicting signals. So if I was to trade it, I would have had at the week high, and then moved the stop up to break even so at least one indicator below as well us dollar again z3 trade if you were to take the the daily frog move the stop up up to the edge here of the z3 or if you allowed it to continue to go you go down to the four hour and as you can see here you can move this up to the hump of the dragon on the four hour to be aggressive with the stop one indicator below so at the edge of the flood plane to the dragon the analysis frank uh, no trade did not plan to trade this one the dollar japanese yen now japanese yen at initial frog box went up continued to move up went above the edge of the flood plane went to the four hour and went to the edge of the flood plane here as it hit the z3 came back down and stopped us out so good trade so spring japanese yen both was long order and if you look this a trade went up came back down hit her stop at the hump of the dragon so for a loss we had uh, initial trade here at two green candles north of the rl10 so the initial loss on the second order we gained over Overall gain for the for the initial position up there. So it's always good to ladder your positions in to make sure that you cover any particular small losses on the way up. Here is dollar superb trade. Uh, went ahead, did a, sh did a short entry here and up. Hit this short entry reversal order since everything was down. Red Heikinashi here in the winter. Hit that short. Hit this second short for another position. Hit this for a third position, fourth position, and was stopped out today uh, for four positions all in profit. Very good gain, very good trade. Euro Canadian dollar, have not traded this. It's sporadic, choppy. Even though it's in the fall, right, and the Heikinashi up are green, just uh, erratic, and it's been in sideways quiet channel for a long time. Euro Swiss franc, the Z3, did not trade this, but I eventually went ahead and did an initial entry because everything was green. I went ahead and put in a daily frog, and as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and move it up for break even plus dinner for two for this order since this is below the RL10. So this was kind of a risky trade, but as you can see here, uh, not much price action going up here. So if I get stopped out, it's a no lose plus dinner for two. Euro Japanese yen, uh, nice trade. Uh, went ahead and had two green candles north of the RL10, first position, second position, stopped out here and for uh, a nice game. Euro New Zealand dollar, uh, both were short. This short did not trigger. Something is different with this. I'm not going to do that because we have what they call on the weekly a tweezer, which is a very bullish formation. And as you can see here, we switched over to winter, but the winter in the RL10 is up. So this could be set up for a major pullback on the weekly. And this just is an indication of a week, sh week short. So I'm not going to go ahead and go with that. It could go up. It could go down. I don't really care, but I just want to make sure that uh, I don't get caught in a overall stronger trend on the weekly. Euro US dollar 
This was a Z3 no trade, but as you can see here, Z3 continues to go up and up and up and improves our risk to reward. Just depends on when you can do that. So this right here was Z3 no trade. So I've ended down the trade on this particular currency. Zealand Canadian dollar was all long. And as you can see here, we had uh, our long orders placed here, went up, and I put my order here at the RL90. All right, so, and it went ahead and triggered that second order. So I'm going to go ahead and move it up to halfway. So it's a no-lose trade. If it comes stops me out, that's fine. If it continues to go up, then gravy. Zealand Swiss franc, nice trade, uh, went up on daily frog at the friday's high everything is up we're in the spring on the weekly came up moved up the stop to here then to here if you go to the four hour i moved the stop up to the rl270 as soon as it hits this particular as soon as it hit this particular weekly high and as you can see it hit the weekly high and they came right back down and stopped us out that's okay so i had two positions up third position was lost but two positions were all profit zealand japanese yen uh same thing uh this was superb trade continue to go up 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 and i'm still in this trade and so you move the stop up to the rl10 this was this was an order here that i had left over from that so that triggered that order so i'm in three orders right now i'm just going to put it right at break even on the third order which is right at the rl10 we'll see what where we go on this but i got the rl30 in between we'll see if it continues to go higher zealand us dollar no long and we're still in this trade it hasn't broken up above this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it at the rl30 all right i don't have an additional position above this but i've gotten one two positions in with profit locked in and we'll see where this goes it could come right back down or it can keep go higher as soon as it goes it starts to go higher i'll go to the four hour and continue to move it up u.s canadian dollar uh superb trade on sunday evening we placed a short order at the low because everything's red we're in the fall went ahead and triggered our order went down kicked off our second order and then on yesterday we on tuesday went ahead and hit the z3 excursion All right so look where it stopped pretty close to the rl90 and the z3 this is a great trade this dollar swiss franc uh same thing went ahead and triggered this order at the swing low the rl10 uh, went ahead and moved the stop down had our target here and it hit our target we had one and two orders in so a uh, nice profit on, on that currency us dollar japanese yen uh we got a loss on this this trade we had and i don't plan to, to do this trade it's acting kind of funny um it looks like a potential collapsing dragon but i'm not sure um, if that is the case then the yen is going to start gaining strength against the dollar uh, which means that we're right at here as far as potential so i'm i'm comfortable with just this particular order and then if it kicks and hits our our target that's fine uh, but there's not much risk to reward there so there's not much sense to get in this this particular uh, currency but it did hit our long came back and stopped us out so i'm okay with not trading this currency anymore well folks that's all I have for the speed run the 21 forex currencies um, as you can see here I do have additional currencies that I'm looking at and researching um, with respect to uh, the British pound other currencies silver which was interesting uh, we went ahead and there was a huge spike in silver which uh, which means that gold, gold could follow shortly but it went and shot up all the way up to the weekly high at the Z3 so interesting dynamic that's happened here with silver and with gold Gold looks like it's starting to follow suit. So there is an uh, increased value of, of gold at this point. See what happens. But I have the British pound pairs and other pairs that I'm going to start researching to see with respect to risk to reward and margin whether or not they're worth trading. And so right now, currently, this is the 21 Forex currencies that I currently follow. If you're interested, we are conducting a Forex boot camp and a Forex intermediate course. If you're interested, click on the link below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Happy trading. Everyone. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information on TC2000, I have an affiliate link below. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.